Hello, this is Chris from Upright Solutions and this is October's video to accompany our Profit Up newsletter and our blog post that we've most recently put up uh, that we've entitled Leveraging Your Website as the Marketing Hub. Now, what the article demonstrates is that really no matter what marketing medium that you use, all roads ultimately lead back to the web. So I'm still pretty, much, pretty staggered at the numbers of companies who don't have any tracking on their website. Um, some companies have it but they don't review it and the companies that do review it don't have a clue what they're looking at don't know what the information means and don't know how to use the information to help them make business decisions so the bottom line is that your website is absolutely the hub of your marketing uh, I don't care what you do exhibitions leaflet drops networking direct mail telemarketing advertising doesn't really matter guaranteed the place every prospective customer will go um, when they want more information is to turn to your website because your website is sort of your living connection to your prospective customers. It's dynamic and changeable and interactive, or well, it should be anyway. Um, and if you want to maximize the expenditure on your marketing, uh, you don't want to let people fall through the cracks. So don't forget that uh, website visitors are goal driven. So they once they've read your leaflet or seen your company at a trade show, then they'll go to your website for a specific purpose. And if your website doesn't serve that purpose, you may as well have not bothered spending the time and money going to the trade show in the first place. So back to the idea of uh, web tracking. Web analytics, as it's called, uh, isn't just a means of segmenting your website visitors into categories, like we see here, um, into sort of visitors that come from search engines, uh, online directors, and so on. But you can also use it uh, with professional help to track your offline marketing. So the holy grail of business has always been um, knowing what activity influences or generates new business. And if we could get a better idea about what that is, then we'd make a lot more money at the end of the year. And web analytics can go a long way to help us achieve this. Uh, so by default, as you can see here, web analytics categorizes your website visitors into three major categories. Uh, visitors from search engines, visitors from other websites or referred traffic and uh, visitors who typed the address in or had it in their favorites which is direct traffic uh, but there's nothing to stop you from creating as many categories as you like you know allowing you to see exactly how many people were compelled by whatever piece of marketing material they came across uh, obviously with an offline piece of marketing there's only so much information on that so if people want to read more the guaranteed the place they're going to go is to your website and you want to know, you know, what proportion of people are actually doing that on a campaign by campaign basis. So the next time you go to an exhibition or a trade show, um, or if you put out uh, an advertisement, what I'd recommend you do is spend ten pound on a brand new domain name that relates to whatever the offer was at the time. So you might register uh, Christmas Chocolate Offer dot co uk, and then or you wouldn't put a website that address. You'd just forward it to your existing website or a page on your existing website. Um, the purpose of course being is then you know the only place you would have published that website address is in that particular campaign or advert or at that particular trade show. So later when they go to view more information they'll visit that web address that was in the promotional material. Um, and we actually use this ourselves. Um, a couple of articles ago on the blog we mentioned that during our sales process <clears throat> when we can't get through to a decision maker on the phone uh, we want to know if they're reading our introductory letters and our introductory emails even if they won't speak to us on the phone so as you can see here in in this graph normally you just have the, the three segments the red the green and the blue but because of what we've done with um, creating additional segments we've got this uh, sort of yellow area appearing here um, so under the traffic sources, if I view the full report here um, and go down here, we've got all the standard stuff, Google traffic, but this is one we've created here, the email footer traffic. So whenever someone gets an email from us and wants to know more, you know, typically you have your website address in the footer of your email. Well, anytime someone clicks that, when I send them an email, um, it will register that as a visit to our website in this area. Um, so I mean, you can do that on a on a campaign by campaign basis like I say so it could be October trade show it could be you know advertising a newsletter or yell.com or whatever it is so you can absolutely attribute or slice your website traffic up 
to see where it's coming from and not just in simple terms of you know search engines refer traffic or direct visitors um, so that's the long and the short of it um, long term you can kind of redirect your marketing budget into the places that you know is producing you know traffic to your website and ultimately if you've got um, tracking set up on your online forms and so forth you can actually determine uh, the source of the of the web inquiries so if someone originally came across you at a trade show then went to your website then submitted an inquiry um, if you've got some web analytics set up correctly you can you can follow that daisy chain all the way through so at the end of the month when you've got a list of 50 inquiries you might be able to attribute 10 of those inquiries originally to a trade show you did a month ago or two weeks ago or whatever so the upshot is you know to stop shooting yourself uh, in the foot uh, stop shooting in the dark with your marketing money and uh, embrace web analytics to give you that greater insight uh, if you want any more information on this kind of thing then uh, please discuss it with us directly and uh, get in contact and we'll be glad to help you. Alright, until next time.